What's up fellow creators, it's Mike Flex here at Seven Studios for Otoy, and in this short intro series, I'm going to quickly take you through the process of choosing your pricing model, selecting a build, and installing Octane in all of the major DCCs as well as standalone, so you can get started on your Octane journey today. And for those of you that already use Octane in your DCC of choice, this will be a super efficient resource for migrating to another package or deciding if you want to upgrade your subscription without any guesswork. The first step is deciding if you just need a demo, the free tier, a paid subscription, or a perpetual box license, so I'll break down each of those real quick. Demos are available here under Shop, Free Trial, Demo. As you can see, you can choose from standalone or any of the major plugins. There are some limitations to keep in mind, like watermarks and output resolution limits. Basically, this is for testing to make sure your system is compatible and to get you some time with the interfaces, which vary greatly by DCC, without having to plunk down any cash first. And at the bottom here, some test scenes to benchmark with and product manuals. If you don't need access to standalone and are either using Blender, Daz, Unity, or Unreal, the Prime tier is completely free for personal and commercial use, which is really awesome. Next up, Octane X4 Big Sur is currently in a free trial through at least 2021. Just keep in mind that both of these free tiers are limited to only using a single GPU, and you have to be connected to the internet. Moving on, if you already know you're looking to join the Octane ecosystem, you have the option to either rent or buy. First, we'll take a look at subscriptions by choosing Shop again, which defaults to the Rent tab. Studio, on the left, is the lowest cost and best for individuals and small studios with a single workstation and no more than two GPUs. It includes a commercial license for Embergen FX, World Creator, and Sculptron for the length of the subscription, at least while they're still in public beta. And you can download Octane for as many DCCs as you want and even have them running simultaneously if you choose, as long as it's the same machine, which is great if you're migrating between one program and another. Offline dongles are not supported with Studio, so you will have to be connected to the internet. By choosing annual over monthly, you can naturally save a few quid, which is great if you already know you'll be using it all year. If you have more than two GPUs in your workstation or you want to add additional workstations as rendering nodes, you'll have to go with Enterprise here in the middle. Additional nodes are purchased down here. Click on the word sold separately. I don't know any other way to get to this page to buy render nodes. I believe that's the only way at the moment. If you choose to go with the annual subscription for Enterprise, it will allow you to use an offline dongle, which is sold separately over here in the Buy tab, all the way on the right, offline USB dongle. Please note that once you convert any Enterprise license to an offline USB one, the change is permanent, so no swapping back and forth willy-nilly. More on the Buy tab in a moment. The top tier rental is Enterprise slash Render plus Ultimate Bundle, and it is as cool as it sounds because it allows for all of this sweet goodness, full commercial licenses to both Ember Gen FX and World Creator for the length of your subscription, regardless of beta status, 10 render nodes, plus as many more as you need if you reach out to Otoy directly, and 100 render tokens, which is equivalent to 10K Octane Bench hours. You're really getting a lot of value here. Additionally, there is a special offer going on exclusively for Mac Pro users with the entire first year of the Enterprise tier free. Finally, back over in the Buy tab, you'll see that there is currently limited time discount pricing for perpetual licenses with either 12 or 24 month maintenance plans. While active, you can get full access to all engine updates as they come, and you can extend these with a maintenance upgrade here in the center, which is also discounted as long as you don't allow your subscription to fall out of maintenance. Hopefully that was concise and informative for anyone still confused about which pricing model to go with. We're happy to answer your questions about this stuff in the Otoy forum, the Octane Render Facebook group, Twitter, Slack, or Discord. All of those links are in the description below. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.